another Inside Music Row. Today, we'll check out a songwriter's night with some of today's hottest country tunesmiths. We'll also hook up with Due West to talk about their new music. Finally, we'll catch up with Rick Monroe just before he hits the road with Dirk Bentley on this year's Jaeger Country Tour. All this and more coming up Inside Music Row. Hey there, I'm Bailey, and I'm so glad you joined us for another Inside Music Row. We've got a great show today, so let's get started with Jimmy Wayne. Jimmy is still getting mileage from his Meet Me Halfway Walk from Nashville to Phoenix last year to raise awareness and money for children in the foster care system. He recently was presented with a check from Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam for more than $2,000, which was donated by employees with the Tennessee State Treasury Department as their adopted charitable project. Gloriana was invited by the President and First Lady to the White House last month as part of a special concert series celebrating Black History Month. Smokey Robinson, Sheryl Crow, and Jamie Foxx were also among the performers. Gloriana is currently putting the finishing touches on a new album which is scheduled to be released later this year. Charlie Pride is releasing his first all-new album in five years this week. Choices went on sale Tuesday and features 13 new recordings. He says he's been in the studio a lot the last few years and the choices were difficult to narrow down for one album. Look for Charlie to hit the road on an 11-city tour of Canada April 27th. The Ryman Auditorium has been honored by industry organization Polestar as the theater of the year. The Ryman was up against Beacon Theater in New York City, Fox Theater in Atlanta, Nokia Theater in LA, and Radio City Music Hall in New York City. This is the third time the historic Nashville venue has won the prestigious award. The RIAA has been busy certifying country album sales. Carrie Underwood reached several milestones with her debut album, Some Hearts, now seven times platinum. Her play on album is now double platinum, Undo It is platinum, and Temporary Home is gold. Lady Annabellum's American Honey and Miranda Lambert's The House That Built Me are both certified platinum. Tim McGraw, Kenny Chesney, and Jason Aldean reached gold certification too. Now it's time to go inside the song. One of the most covered hits by the Miracles is Ooh Baby Baby, written in 1965 by Smokey Robinson and fellow Miracle Pete Moore. The song was later covered by Linda Ronstadt in the late 70s. We caught up with Smokey himself to ask about that special song about begging for forgiveness. Ooh Baby Baby started quite by accident. In fact, uh, the Miracles and I used to do a medley of love songs by other artists that were popular back in the day when, when we wrote Ooh Baby Baby. And uh, one night we were on stage in Washington, D.C., and at the end of that medley, I just started to sing Ooh Baby Baby. The guys and I had been together for so long, you know, they just started to chime in and harmonize with that. And so we started to add that to the show every night, and we got such a reaction, we decided we'd write a song, Ooh Baby Baby, and that's what we did, and that's where it came from. has sprung here in Nashville, and we are really excited about all the hot tours kicking off right now. Let's take a quick peek at who's going where and when. quick break but before we go we have some hot new music up for grabs this week we have the latest from due west forget the miles and it's even autographed you'll see more from them up ahead but if you want to enter this week's drawing you have to go online to insidemusicroad.com and click on free music we've got lots more coming up including several of today's hottest songwriters so don't go away we'll be back in a sliver